All right, now, here's the first principle in enumeration. So first of all, what is enumeration? It's the fancy word for counting. Uh, enumeration is terribly important in advanced mathematics. It's very important to know how many things of some type there actually are. And this principle says if you have a project and you can divide this project into sub-projects and envision them being done sequentially, even if that's not the case, but if you can envision them being done sequentially, and for each step, for each sub-project, you can count the number of ways to carry out that project. And if the number of ways to do the second one is independent of the number of which way you did the first one, et cetera, and you can count them, then you can simply multiply the individual quantities together to get the total quantity. Example, I have five shirts. I have four pairs of pants, and I have three pairs of socks. I, actually, those numbers are a little off, but suppose that the choices for pants are independent of the choices for shirts. They really aren't because you, know, you get color clashes, but let's just suppose they are. And I go to my closet, and I pick one of the five shirts. I put it, I put it on. I put one of the pairs of slacks, pants, put them on. So five times four. I got 20 different ways to get past that. Now, if I don't care anything about whether my socks match my, my, sl my slacks or not, then I take one of my three different kinds of socks. So five times four times three is the total number of ways I can get dressed in this basic combination. This is the multiplication principle, and it's the first rule of, of counting of enumeration for strings. All right, let's use that. So how many bit strings of length n are there? So a bit string is a sequence. You write down in project number one uh, either a zero or a one. And whatever you do when you go to project number two, which is to write down the bit for the second entry in the string, there's two choices for it. And then there's two choices for the third, and there's two choices for the fourth. Whether you write them down right to left or left to right or skip around, doesn't matter. I can still envision them as being done sequentially. And so the total number is just the product, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, done n times, and that's 2 to the nth. So if you don't learn anything in today's lecture, you better remember that one. The number of bit strings of length n is 2 to the n. More generally, the number of words of length n from an m letter alphabet is m to the n because you have m choices and then m choices and then m choices and then m choices again and again, a total of n times, and that's m to the nth power. In our third example, remember Georgia license plates have three capital letters followed by four digits. And if we pretend that all combinations of letters, including repetition, and all combinations of digits, including repetition, are allowed, then the total number of Georgia license plates is 26 cubed times 10 to the fourth. By the way, how big is that number? 26 cubed. Uh, eight, nine thousand. Eight, nine thousand times ten to the fourth is uh, you know, eight, nine million, right? Is that enough? Well, for now. For now. Might, might one day have to add on a, another letter. But for now, it's enough. <laughs>